I was going to save a chunk of this rant to use as part of another rant in Nerd Rant Series 2, but the timing is better to just do it now. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out at the beginning of this month, and of course, the geeks are pissy. Why is Rhino a fucking mech? Why is Electro a black guy? Why is Peter's dad so involved in this shit? And why is Harry Osborn the first Green Goblin and not Norman Osborn? And this is just the stuff I can share with you that isn't a major spoiler. This is all the shit they showed you in the trailer. And you know what? Several years ago, I would have been right there with you. I remember going to see the first X-Men movie in 2000. I was 19 years old. And I remember sitting there in the theater thinking, this fucking sucks. Wolverine was not a member of the X-Men at the start. Neither was Rogue. And why the fuck is Iceman a child? He was one of the original X-Men. Where's Angel and Beast? They're ruining the whole thing. I have no idea if the movie was any good or not. I spent the whole time being a little asshole about it, and I didn't even try to enjoy the movie for what it was. But here's the thing people need to understand when they go to the movies to watch a movie based on a comic book. Comic book movies are not for people who read comic books. Does this sound really stupid to you? If you're an avid reader of comics, I bet it does. This statement would have thrown me into a rage 10, 15 years ago too, until I smartened the fuck up. How is this even possible? Of course they make them for people like me, why wouldn't they? You ask impatiently, wondering how I can make such a ridiculous statement, thinking, finally, I'm gonna be able to prove Buckley wrong about something. I always knew he was a retard. Well, I'm gonna explain why, using every nerd's favorite method, math. Let's use the Avengers movie as an example. According to the IMDB, the Avengers movie made $623 million in the United States. If we were to say that people paid an average of $15 a ticket to go see it, that means that roughly 41.5 million tickets were sold to go see the Avengers movie. That doesn't even begin to take into account DVD and Blu-ray sales, or Netflix views, or anything like that. This is just people who went and sat in a theater for two and a half hours to watch large men in tight clothes save the world from a fictional threat. Even if that doesn't mean 41.5 million people saw it, let's make up a ridiculous number and say everyone saw it five times in theaters. That didn't happen, but let's say it did. That would still be 8.3 million human beings watching the movie. Now, want to know how many copies of the Avengers comic book get sold? In March of this year, issue 27 sold about 54,000 copies. In February, Issue 26 sold close to 60,000 copies. And in January, Issue 25 sold 65,000 copies. In 2013, the highest selling copy of the Avengers sold approximately 127,500 copies. And that number is probably only so high because there was a shitload of variants for it. It was Issue 24 point now, a gimmicky thing Marvel did to boost sales and try and get new readers on board and to give the completionists more shit to spend their money on. If my point hasn't already become incredibly clear, turn in your geek card now and head over to the nearest Abercrombie & Fitch or American Eagle, go get a gym membership and buy some protein because you're as dumb as the meatheads you hate. Dumber maybe, even they'd figure this out. Movie studios aren't making fucking movies for 65,000 people. They want to make movies for 65 million people. 41.5 million tickets sold versus 127,000 comics sold. Doesn't take a Reed Richards or Hank Pym level intellect to figure out who they're going after. They want the regular movie going public. The casuals. The people who like the idea of superheroes who enjoy the movies but who don't go anywhere near a comic book store. They don't have any long boxes in their homes. They don't know what the fuck a pull list is. They don't have an opinion on whether or not slabbing comics is a scam or a valuable service. And they just heard about Rocket Raccoon and Groot six months ago when they announced the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. The studios already have your money. They know you're going to see the movie. They know you'll go just to bitch about all the changes they made. They didn't decide to make Black Widow an original Avenger and leave out Ant-Man and Wasp just to piss you off. They didn't make Spider-Man shoot webs from his actual wrists instead of using web shooters in the Tobey Maguire movies to fuck with you. 
and they didn't cast a tall Australian as the 5'3 Canadian Wolverine to make a mockery of something you love. They made these decisions because someone somewhere decided they had more mass appeal, which means more money at the box office. Yeah, but, but nothing. The movie isn't for you. So the next time you start rambling on to someone about how they ruined the movie because they didn't make it exactly like the comic, just remember, the only thing ruining the movie for everyone is you.